Hello friends, I am going to answer to the previous quiz. Of course, many of you have already answered and these answers are great. You have touched upon most of the important points which I have shown in the previous video where I wanted you to highlight what are the steps which makes this uh, chop the best chop. Of course, we are coming up with the FACO tips workshop here in the next 10 days and it's going to be great. There will be an online link as well for the registration which I will give you in the comment section. So let's get back to the answer to this quiz. Let me show you the video again which I showed and I called it perfect chop. So let's find out why I call it the perfect chop. So the FACO tip goes in, the chopper moves, it splits the heminucleus into further quadrants. Now I want you to see this step very closely in slow motion as well. And I will just describe what are the steps which makes it perfect. So I want to do it in each and every case of mine. So the first thing is that look at the FACO tip when we apply the vacuum. The relative motion you can see that there is no movement of the FACO tip but the nucleus moves towards the FACO tip. Just vacuum is applied initially and you can see once I touch the nucleus, the nucleus moves towards the tip and it's not the tip which is getting into the nucleus. Now after using the longitudinal power, I'm using only the vacuum. You can see the parameters on the side and now the chopper moves towards it and then a complete lateral separation. Chopper moves more than the FACO tip. So that's the critical point here. Watch out for this particular moment, this moment where the FACO tip is actually steady and the nucleus is moving towards the FACO tip suggests good hold. This is the thing I wanted to focus on in this particular quiz. I'm sure you got it right. Thank you so much.